Hello children. Uh, it's me and Teddy again. Say hi Teddy. Right, we're going to give you some clues about what we're going to be learning about this week. So last week we did police and firefighters. Okay, so let's see what clues Teddy's got for today. Are you ready? See if you can guess. Okay, so Teddy has got a bag. What's in your bag, Teddy? Oh, there's something on the front. It is a cross shape. Like that, look. And what do they look like? Hmm, maybe plasters? Are they plasters, Teddy? Ah, they are. Okay, let's see what else you've got. Put it on. Oh, Teddy, you do look smart. It's a bit big. There we go. It's a white coat. There's some writing on it there. Hmm, I'm not going to read it yet because I'm going to see if you can guess. Any ideas? Let's see. See what else is in Teddy's bag. Let's open your bag, Teddy. Oh, he has got a clipboard for writing things down. He has got, oh, some glasses so he can see things really well. Because he's very clever with his glasses. Very clever. Okay. Um, he's got a hat. Does it fit you? Oops, let's put his hat on first and then his glasses. Okay, just pop those on there, Teddy. Is that okay? Any ideas, children? Any ideas? What else is there? Oh, there's a special mask. Okay, what else is in there? Let's have a look. Oh, there are some tools and things. There is a bandage. There is oh, a needle. There is another instrument, not sure what that's for, have to find out. There's a thermometer to test how hot you are. And there's this thing. Oh, that's to look through, I think. Oh, let's have a look in your ears, Teddy. Oh, they're nice and clear. And the last thing in here is one of those. Can you remember what they're called, children? Uh, begins with a s sound, a stethoscope. Well done, that's fabulous. You remembered stethoscope. It is for listening to people's hearts and their breathing. Okay, so do you know what we're learning about this week? Doctors, not just doctors, doctors, nurses, ambulance workers, paramedics, Everybody who works for the NHS, which are the people who help keep us healthy when we are poorly, or if we're unwell, or if we have hurt ourselves, these people look after us. Okay, so I've got a little story. It's Topsy and Tim one. Uh, you, but you all know Topsy and Tim already. So let's read this story and see what happens. It is called Topsy and Tim go to the doctor. Oh, what's Topsy got there? She has got a stethoscope like yours, Teddy. And she's listening to Tim's tummy. I wonder what noise it's making. Topsy and Tim go to the doctor. It was a cold and misty morning. 
Mame cooked a tasty hot breakfast for Topsy and Tim. Don't want my breakfast, said Tim. Oh, you are a misery, said Mummy crossly. Dad was not cross, but then he'd not cooked the breakfast. This isn't like Tim, he said. There must be something wrong. Open your mouth wide, Tim. Ah! Tim's throat was swollen and red and sore. Poor old Tim, said Dad. Mummy phoned the health centre. She made an appointment for Tim to see Dr Sims at the doctor's. They walked to the health centre. Tim wore his scarf up over his nose to keep his poorly sore throat warm. Poor Tim. Topsy's playing and happy. Don't think Tim wants to play. He's not really happy, is he? The receptionist, that's the lady who works on the phone and the computer when you go into the doctor's, checked Tim's appointment on her computer. She told them to go and wait outside Dr. Sims' surgery. That's the room where the doctor sits in and, and you go in and see the doctor in the surgery. Look, said Topsy, there's Kerry. Kerry was one of Topsy and Tim's school friends. What's the matter, Kerry? asked Topsy. It hurts when I swallow, Kerry said. Tim has got a sore throat too, Topsy said. Tim just looked glum. Soon it was Tim's turn to go into the surgery. Good morning, said Dr Sims. Here he is on his desk. Look, he's got his pen and his special things talking around. Good morning, Dr Sims, said Topsy. Tim said nothing. Tim isn't talking, Topsy explained. I think it's because his throat hurts. Open your mouth, Tim, said Dr Sims, and let me see. Tim, Dr Sims, took a little flat stick and held it onto Tim's tongue. Say, ah, he said. Ah, said Tim. Then he looked in Tim's eyes and inside his ears. Oh, look, Teddy had one of those. <sighs> You must have a poorly earache too, Tim, he said. Tim nodded. You're a brave lad, said Dr Sims. Mum, oh, mm, said Dr Sims. Up with your jumper, young man. He put his stethoscope into his ears and listened to Tim's chest. Teddy has a stethoscope too. What does that do, asked Tim. I can hear what chests and tummies are saying through it, said Dr Sims. The sound tells me if people are ill. Then he let Topsy listen to Tim's heart. Boom, 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 boom. Dr Sims wrote a prescription and gave it to Mummy. A prescription is where the doctor writes down what medicine you need. One spoonful, four times a day, he said. This will soon make you feel better, Tim. Mummy took Topsy and Tim to the chemist. The chemist is where the pharmacist works and she makes the medicines for people. Mrs White, the pharmacist, prepared Tim's medicine and gave it to Mummy. Make sure he takes all of it, she said. Not at once though, only four spoons a day. Mummy put the medicine safely in her bag. Just then, Kerry came past. I've got some medicine, she said. Tim's got some too, said Topsy. When they got home, Mummy took out the medicine. It had a special lid that children can't do. But Mummy could open it. She poured a spoonful for Tim. Did it taste nice, asked Topsy. Mmm, said Tim, licking his lips. Then Mummy... Oh, uh, locked the bottle of medicine away in a cupboard out of Topsy and Tim's reach. Why do you think she did that? Why do you think the medicine has to be locked up high where the children can't reach? I'll tell you. It's so that the children don't get it and drink it because if they have too much it can make them really, really poorly. When Dad came home, Tim was tucking into blackcurrant jelly. 
Topsy was not eating hers. She's sulking because she isn't ill, said Tim. I wonder, said Dad. Open wide, Topsy, and let Dr. Dad have a look. Topsy's throat was red and sore. Dad took Topsy to the health centre that evening. Her throat was sore, but she was proud to be going to see the doctor and she was very brave, just like Tim was. Dr. Sims was not there, so Topsy saw Dr. Jaunty instead. She came home with a bottle of medicine, just like Tim's. That's the end of the story, but there is a puzzle on the next page. You have to look at the pictures there and try and spot six things that are different. So if I show you one, Mummy's bag doesn't have any spots there, but on this picture it does. Okay, so you can pause the video there, see if you can find the other five things that are different in the pictures. Okay, so pause it now. Did you find them all? Let's see if we can find them. So, Mummy has a hat here. She doesn't there. So that's two we found. The computer is here, but it's not there. So that's three. The doctor's wooden sticks are missing. So that's four. Tim's jumper is a different colour. That's five. And the doctor's chair is a different colour. That's six. Did you spot them all? Well done if you did. Okay, thank you for sharing that with me. That's the end um, of that story. I've got another doctor story for you tomorrow um, to learn a little bit more about what doctors do. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.